Look at this fucking mark. Guys, I had a, all right, fuck it. What's up guys, it's Jordan here. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a video today on basically talking about like uh, my first year experience here at um, the University of New Haven, also known as UNH. Um, and yeah, just tell y'all a little bit about it. Never know, you guys might decide to come here one day. So, first things first, I'm the realist. Drop this and let the whole world feel it. Nah, first things first. So, um, the size of the campus. The size of the campus is actually small. It's not a lot of people here. I don't know how many students in total, but the campus is not big at all. You actually, you actually see like the same people. Like I see the same people like multiple times throughout the day. So that's how small the campus is. It's really, it's, it's really small. Like classes are like five minute walks. Um, I think they do got like, they do got some dorms that are like, like, like a 10 minute walk away from our campus. But I don't live over there, so I'm not doing that. And they're like apartment style um, dorms or whatever. I live actually on campus. <laughs> Um, speaking of the dorms, the dorms, most of the dorms are nice. Actually, all the dorms that I've been to so far are nice. There's this one dorm, but I forgot the name, but I don't know. I heard that that dorm got roaches. I heard it got mold. I heard it had all types of shit up in it. And they have like communal bathrooms in like the dorm, that dorm. Um, but my dorm for the most part, my dorm is decent. It's all right. <laughs> Um, it's not bad. We have our own bathroom. We have our own living space. We have our own kitchen. Only thing is, sometimes it could be multiple people to a room. So, like, my room is, like, three people to one room. But it, I think you could have four people to one room, too. I'm not sure. But the dorms are nice for the most part. They're not bad. The best dorms, though, I, it, um, we have this dorm. It's called Westside. But it's where, like, all the freshmen go. Um, that's like the best dorms. Okay, it's okay, the best dorm. It's new as fuck. Nice floors, way. big ass bathroom. Okay. Um, nice like common areas, like all kinds of shit. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Actually, when I went for orientation, when I came to UNH for orientation, um, they put they placed me on Westside um, for like an overnight stay, and so I thought I was getting Westside when I came here. Hey Jordan, are you excited? A little bit, yeah. Oh, that's good, I'm happy for you. No, no I didn't. But the dorm I got isn't that bad though. Like, it's decent, like, I, um, I had to do a, I ended up doing like a um, change of like a room cause I had these horrible ass roommates. And um, it, it the dorm wasn't even that, that bad. So I, I decided to stay in this dorm and just move to like a different floor or whatever. <laughs> So yeah, overall the dorms are not bad. Um, West side is for the freshmen usually, and then you got like your other dorms, which are like um, juniors and seniors and uh, well, everything else in between. Um, food. So the food here is in the middle. Food here is in the middle. We have we have a few different eating area, like eating places, but. <laughs> Our two main biggest ones, like the actual dining halls, um, are we have like this buffet style uh, cafeteria, and then we have something called FOD, which is called food on demand. So the buffet style, the good thing about that, the buffet style cafe is that you can um, you can swipe your meal card and you can eat as many times as you choose to, um, as long as you don't leave. The downside about it is that their food is not always good. It's not, it's decent, but it's not always good. Sometimes I think it depends on who's making the food. Even though I think they follow a recipe, it still depends on who's making the food because the food be nasty as fuck sometimes. Like even when I do decide to go there and I want to take the food with me to go, I always like stack up multiple, like different types of food in my tray. And I know people just be looking at me like, what the fuck? That nigga's stomach gonna hurt. But I'm like, nah, because you never know what's good and what's not. 
so I just get like different shit. Sometimes I'll get fries and a burger on one side of the train and I'll get like chicken and rice on another side with um like a wrap that they made um on top of it and I would just put everything on one thing. <laughs> so yeah. Food there is alright. They have different stations at the um at the buffet style um cafeteria. So we have like a Mexican Mexican joint inside. We have like a Asian food place inside. We have um, something for like vegans and ve vegetarians. Then we have like um, a regular like American food, I guess. They got like a pasta station, a pizza station. We got a deli. Um, then we got like our desserts, um, ice cream machine, different shit like that. So that's all right there overall. I know another thing they be doing, like the workers, like so we they got TVs um in that cafeteria, and like, I don't know, I heard that they be playing like bad shit on the TV. Like there's this page I follow that um there's this page I follow that like like a student made that like reports on like different shit and um at, about the school and sometimes like I'll like be on Instagram and like he'll post like. <laughs> He'll post, like, a video of um, the school cafeteria TVs, like, having porn up there or, like, sex scenes from movies. So, I don't know if people be airdropping or connecting their phones to the TVs or the staff just don't be knowing what scenes are in certain movies or certain channels that are playing. I don't fucking know, but that should be funny as fuck sometimes. <laughs> The other food place we got is called FOD, and it basically stands for food on demand. So you swipe your meal plan, and then you can, like, choose from, like, different things on a kiosk. They make it for you. Mm. They make it for you, and you just put your phone number in, and they text, send you a text when it's ready. The food there is usually almost always good. Always. Sometimes it might be a little off, but for the most part, that's the most reliable for food. So, if you guys want something good on campus, I'm telling you, go there. As far as campus life, for campus life, I would say campus life is, it's dry. Campus life is dry. Like, usually when the semester begins in August, it's good for, like, a couple of weeks. After that, I would say it's good for the first week. And that's because, like, they throw, like, different shit and have different events. <laughs> Usually something almost every day, but it's usually for like the freshmen, but anyone can go. But I think it's usually for the freshmen. That week is fun. That's the best time to like meet people. Other than that, they don't do anything here. It's like they don't give a fuck about us. <laughs> they rare, rarely have events, shit like that. Yeah, we got a little exercise gym. Um, In the beginning of the semester, I was um like always up in there because that's where all the niggas be. And they be fun as fuck. And I just be, I be stalking them. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Why well, was, no, nah, I don't be stalking them. But I just be watching. Like, they be looking fine as fuck. Hooping, playing basketball. I be like, oof. <laughs> ah! That's it for, like, the campus life. Let me see. So, friends, right? Slash campus life, I would say. So, 
when I first got here, like during orientation, I made a lot of friends or acquaintances, or I thought I did, made like decent ones. But then as like weeks, as like the days and weeks went by after school started, they all turned out to be weirdos or fake. I don't know. Like I would see like some of them like in passing, and like we spoken before. After like orientation and like after like that first week, like we would just walk by each other and like they wouldn't say shit, so I wouldn't say shit, because like it was like I was always saying like hey what's up like I was always like you know approaching them and shit when I seen them in passing or like seeing them like in like common areas and they they would say hey what's up back but then I'm like all right like I'm not always gonna be saying hi like you can say hi too, so then when it was time for that like they wasn't saying shit so i just stopped fucking with them then there was other people they was like oh like hit me up like there's this one these two girls they was like oh like hit, hit me up we, we could share we can hang out i hit these little bitches up and they just kept giving me the run around and i was like all right i'm not fucking with y'all i had unfollowed them like especially the two girls i un- end up unfollowing them on instagram because i don't do fake shit like if i start getting fake vibes like, i'm just not gonna fuck with you so that's what they were giving me. They were being fake as fuck. So I unfollowed them. And I think like after that, ever after I unfollowed them, like when I started seeing them and shit, they just started ignoring me. Like it was bad. Well, they was already doing that fake shit anyway, but they was really like, you could tell like they was like overtly doing that shit. Like they was flat out ignoring me. They was giving me ill of me and shit. I'm like, oh, like fuck yeah, bitches. I don't give a fuck. I press for what? So, there was a few other people I, um, you know, like, spoke to or whatever. Because I just don't do that shit. That shit is weird. Like, I hate when people be like, oh, hit me up. Like, I, 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 I understand it sometimes because, like, sometimes I'll, um, I'll do that to people too. I'll be like, oh, yo, yeah, hit me up. But I don't really mean it. But then you keep saying that shit. They be like, oh, hit me up, hit me up, hit me up, hit me up. Then when I hit you up, you giving me the runaround or you doing this and doing that. I'm like, what? You weird as fuck. So it was like people who did like shit like that. So I just stopped fucking with them. I started ignoring them and shit. Um, classes, classes are all right. This semester classes were okay. They were, was all right. I had this one, these two, it was two classes. I had two psychology classes, stressful as fuck. Not the class, but it was the professors. Like the professors were assholes. And it was this one professor I had for like I don't even know the name of the class. But it was like a psychology class. And like, he just had such a big ass ego. Like, a big ego. And like, you just couldn't tell him shit. Like, he just always had to be right. This, this, and that. Like, always had to, you know, show his power and shit like that. So, that made class not fun at all. But for the most part, most of my professors were cool, fun, engaging. I had another professor. She was old. I feel like she didn't know what the fuck she was doing. I had her for like a, a, um, what was it? I think it was like a public speaking class or something like that. Or she was not good at all. Like she was just, she needed to be more organized. She just was not organized at all. Um, the University of New Haven, like I think we're like the top school in like the world. I'm gonna say the state, but I also think the world for um forensic psych which is what i'm going for um so i think they're like the top school in like the world for like forensic psychology or something like that to study here or shit like that i guess the guy whoever created like law and order and csi and all the crime shows henry lee or whoever that is something like that he has a connection to the school i don't know if he founded the school or some shit like that but yeah that's where the whole psychology thing comes into play (laughs) Yeah, I'm sorry I fell asleep earlier, guys. Like, I was tired. I ain't even lying. I was knocked the fuck out. So I'm up now. I probably like film a few more videos. Um, and let me know what other type of videos you guys would like to see. All right. Well, peace.